going on guys mg mg here and uh yeah this is a this is a morning delight good morning to everyone i hope everyone is having a good day afternoon evening whatever you guys know the routine so let's get into it huh so let's see here. We got Big Daddy Bitcoin. Actually, let me refresh this. Let's refresh this. So right now, we got Big Daddy Bitcoin hanging out at 45000 bucks, guys. <clears throat> and just to let you guys know, today is the big day, okay? The, <clears throat> excuse me, the United States Senate or the House, they're going to vote on this infrastructure bill and um, they're going to vote on this infrastructure bill and uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see uh, what the hell is gonna happen uh, you know I personally think like there's gonna be this is gonna be a nothing burger because I mean our well, assuming you're American, the U.S. government doesn't know shit about crypto. <clears throat> you know, we have all these dinosaurs here who are like a thousand years old who are making laws about the future of our finances. And those guys aren't even going to be around for like the next 10 fucking 15 years. And while us, we have like 50 plus ready to go. You know what I'm saying? It's so stupid. Anyway... You know, let's not get political here. Actually, you know what? Our space is very political, geopolitical. It's just, you know, wherever you are around the world, one thing that remains is all of these governments want to control us and our money. So, 
you know, like, your battle may be a little different wherever you're from, but it's the same shit, because, you know, these governments want to control our money. So right now, we are sitting at $1.9 trillion, guys, up 0.6%. We're about to hit $2 trillion, guys. $138 billion volume, 44.4% BTC dominance. I think yesterday it was 5, 45%. And today we are sitting at 19.1 GUI, 19.1 GUI, 19.1 Ethereum dominance. GUI prices have actually gone down. Um, uh, prices. Really? Okay. You know, I, I, I just had to check because everyone is just going ham on stupid ass NFTs right now. The NFT bubble is insane the the nft money money laundering bubble is insane you know hey i went i went to college for uh art i know the value intrinsic value that pieces mean to people but let's be honest here guys this is just getting ridiculous <laughs> but you know your boy ain't gonna miss out so right now i am considering jumping into the nft market but you know i have to do it through the luxo network so I, i'm gonna wait until this bubble pops you know what i'm saying and we're just gonna rebuild it uh on luxo right so uh hold on a second I had, to, I had a text. Okay, so Ethereum hanging out at $3,100, guys. Uh, up 0.4%, down 0.5 in the one hour. Monstrous 20% run on an asset that's over $300 billion. That's insane. Binance Coin, 371. Mike Cardano, over 150, finally. 18.9. Uh, Alonzo Hard Fork is coming. You know what I'm saying? I think we're like in the purple white phase or some shit like that. Where basically select groups of developers will be allowed to further stress test the uh, smart contracts. You know what I'm saying? So this shit is real. Uh, despite all the people who are coping that they missed out on Cardano, uh, they can hate all they want. But uh, once once uh, Gogan is live and all of these projects are just going to spring to life. It's going to challenge Binance and Ethereum. So, XRP, God, 82 cents, guys. This thing is just slowly creeping up, guys. A $5 XRP is not out of the realm of possibility. And you know what's interesting? There are a lot of theories out there, different data models. One particular model that I personally subscribe to is that the the bull cycle is elongated and it will extend into Q1 of 2022. There are other hypotheses saying that we're going to start our parabolic run next month and it's going to top in November. I'm not sure. I, I don't really understand like where they're getting that because November and December... Actually, you know what? I'll take that back because we were in crypto winter in 2018 during the bull market. However, we already had a run. I don't know. It's just so weird that it's going to, considering all the momentum that we have right now and all the players in the space right now, that our market would just tank during the holiday season. Like, again, if you're American, we have this holiday called Thanksgiving. We sit down with friends, family, whoever is close to us, and we just eat and we talk. And one of the subjects is typically crypto. And then I understand that holiday pumps didn't happen in 2018, mainly because of it was bear market, you know, it's all those other factors. But it's just weird to me that some some models show that we'll top in October. However, I'm open to new ideas. And uh, I will pay attention during that time and see what the fuck's going on. And if I have to, I'll take some money off the table because, you know, 
you guys know the coins that I'm into, obviously, because you're watching my video. Shout out to you, by the way. Uh, you guys know what coins I'm into, but if we're actually going to head into crypto winter, like let's say that the October hypothesis is real. If we're actually going to go into crypto winter in November and December, got to take some money off the table, guys. I mean, I love my alts, but when alts retrace, it's a 50-50, more like a 60-40 chance that the coin will go back, not only come back to life, but beat all-time highs. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bitcoin is the only true coin that can do that. Not all, Dump 90% and then reach all-time highs. Well, Ether did it too, okay? Binance did it. Cardano did it. XRP has not done it yet. Doge. Doge has done it. Okay, Polkadot. It's working on it. Uniswap, working on it. Bitcoin Cash, I don't think this thing is going to crack. Uh, what was this all-time high? I think it's like 2.8k, some shit like that. Solana, most likely. Chainlink, most likely. Litecoin, most likely. ICP, That's a, this is a high. This is a, a really long road for this coin. Uh, in fact, this fuck this fucker popped the fuck off. Let's take a look. Still ninety percent. Fuck a fuck a noodle do. Ninety percent off, guys. I don't even know what that coin does. I honestly don't care. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it might be my mistake. This thing might go five figures years from now, but I don't know, man. You can't win them all, right? Uh, ETC did it. Uh, Polygon will easily do it. Stellar Lumens, it's still working on it. Uh, VeChain, it will do it. I definitely believe that. Theta, absolutely will do it. Filecoin, I'm not quite sure. There are so many protocols that can do what Filecoin does. I really don't know. I mean, if you were into Filecoin in 16, congratulations. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, 17. Congratulations. You've, you've made your money back. Assuming that you sold when the fucker went three figures. You know what I'm saying? And then we just go down the list here. Tron, maybe. It's all-time high. I think it was like 21 cents, 23 cents, something around there. Ave, definitely. Monero, absolutely. I mean, I hold the coin, so. EOS, highly doubt it. Dan Larimer's not even in the project anymore. This, this coin, I think it topped at like 25 bucks in 2018 when the mainnet came out. Panquake, pan, panquake, pancake, most likely, Shiba Inu, absolutely, you know what I'm saying, the graph, yes, definitely, this coin just, such a good coin, it's just too bad it's manipulated so much, and Axie Infinity, guys, what the fuck is going on with this coin, look at this, like, yeah, I don't know, man, 48,000% since the all-time low. 12 cents, boys. 12 cents to 60 bucks. Jesus. I mean, again, can't win them all, guys, but wow, that's amazing. Seriously, how the fuck is this coin not zero? Like, let's let's take a step back here, guys. How is this coin not zero? Let's think about it for a second. The fucker who leads this coin seems to believe that he is Satoshi. And if you are a BSV holder, you know, full offense to you. Why are you invested in this? Like, uh, you know, you can block me, whatever. Like, the fact that this coin is not zero yet after suffering a 51% attack is just mind-boggling. It just shows that this, this coin really is traded by bots. Like... Imagine this. Imagine if you woke up and there was a double spend with Bitcoin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Bitcoin would go to zero in like a week because its value prop, its its value prop is already, it's already done. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bitcoin is known for its security, battle tested. 24 7 365 uptime it's never been down you know what i'm saying and 
If we got a double spin, that's it. It's over. Ether's going to be number one. Cardano's going to be number two. Like, it's... How? How is this coin still alive? And it's like, how are people still defending this shit? Like, it's over, guys. Pack it up. You guys got 51% attacked. It's over. Like, no one's going to trust you. <laughs> like, sure, you can redo all the code and maybe pull a Final Fantasy 14 and do a, a coin reborn, but it doesn't matter. Like, the coin's been 51% attacked. It just shows that it's garbage. Pure fucking dog shit, man. Tezos probably will hit its all-time high and beyond, I'm sure. Fucking Iota, one of the most godly plays of all time. One of what, up there. All-time low. Look at that. Wow. This thing was like like fractions of a penny and it's and it went up to 525. I remember that. Yeah, so I mean across the board, everything's looking good, guys. Today's beverage of choice is black coffee. So let's take a look at the fear and greed index. We are greedy, boys. We're, we are greedy. Um, I don't know your positions on and how much, how much you're up. Maybe, perhaps, time to take some profit. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, take some off the table. 5%, 10%, whatever the fuck percent you have in your positions. Because uh, we're getting greedy, guys. We're getting greedy. I mean, I love it. What was our highest market cap? I think it was like $2.5 We still got a, We still got a long way to go to challenge all-time highs. And then we have some people out here saying that it's going to be a bull trap at 52 k You know? So... We will see. We will see. Let's see if there's any truth to that. Man, I love classic electro shit slaps so hard. Okay. Money flow is looking decent. Let's actually take a look at the weekly. Okay, the last candle is very bullish. Five days. God damn, we haven't even confirmed a swing high yet. Okay, so I think this is our last swing low here. <clears throat> ah, where's that tool? Is it path? Okay. Okay, obviously this is our last swing high. This is our latest swing low here. Yeah, we still we, we still need more confirmation at least from the fit from the weekly. Um Yeah, I can see why guys are tripping out over the 52. Well, I mean... Bottom confirmed, 26th. Where it's... Money flow is looking good, guys. We're probably going to go higher. <clears throat> Assuming nothing happens today. In terms of the voting. Uh, yeah, we'll see. 
I mean... So we're definitely challenging this resistance level here at 46. And how much further to 52? So 11% move, 11 to 12% move. Yeah. And then, and then our major, our major last support here is at thirty four thousand. Okay, so yeah, we got some time. I want to, I want to see what the hell is happening here. So let's take a look at B Pro. Um, Bottom confirmed on the 19th. It's looking like we're going to move a little bit higher. We'll see. Generally, when we call a bottom on on the weekly, it's very, very strong indication here. We got our support here at half a penny. And we're currently under a penny. I did have a I did have a limit order set at um, 0 08 zero 08 and some change. Uh, I still have yet to check on that. You guys know I still actively buy B Pro. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, you guys know I invest in people. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't think Rui is the type of guy to exit exit scam if he were to do that i think he would have done it a long time ago especially during the bear market but he just continued to build with his team and and if you guys see the last uh the last time <coughs> The last time we looked this up, mainnet launch, end of the year, guys, and the marketplace is going to be deploying on September 30th, so <clears throat> that might be something to think about, uh, assuming that you are into Pro like I am. So let's actually go into... Let's go to the ether scan here. Yeah, we're up 8,500 holders, around the same amount of holders, more or less, probably less than Luxo, which is interesting. You know, this guy just bought 9,500, dollar cost average into that. This dude bought 12,000, guys, eight minutes ago. Salute to that dude. <clears throat> and this kid right here bought 68,000, man. When this coin pops off, it's going to be insane. Um, so yeah, we have that support here. Um, this is actually a swing high, so well, we can put this as a. Actually, no, I'm tripping. This is not a swing high. It could be. We'll just put that marker there. Uncertain. Maybe we can make that. A pink line I need to see another candle uh, next week to confirm that but for now I'm unsure but if we print another it doesn't matter what we print red or green this might be the next swing high resistance here so we got some work to do we got some work to do, boys. Yeah. Pretty decent spread there. 
I mean, again, I'm not too worried about the about the price action with this coin, you know. Keep it underground for now. Because, like, this coin's nowhere, guys. KuCoin. KuCoin and Uniswap. Once this coin hits um, Binance, shit's going to be over. Straight up. And uh, all the people like us who've held strong, just gonna get paid, man. Straight up. All right, so let's take a look. What else do I want to look at here? Let's actually take a look at Solana. Like, what the fuck's up with Solana? Um, let's see, Solana Tether. Hold on a second, guys. Um, gotta check something. Mm -mm. Okay. Alright, so we got Solana Summer here, okay. Um, it's looking like floor support here is $17.14. Bottom confirmed on the 2nd of August, guys. <clears throat> okay, green dot confirmation there. Not bad, not bad. It's looking like Solana wants to keep going up. VWAP is looking good. Very positive price action here. Uh, I would have probably gotten into this coin as far back as the second. Yeah, I would have probably caught that green dot. You could have actually got in at $22 on the 19th. July 19th. You'd be up 83%. That is fucking... Ridiculous, guys. Ridiculous. Um, let's see. This is the last swing high resistance right here. So it's looking like the Solana soldiers here are going to have to charge up. They're going to have to charge up uh, and break out of the $44 range here. I think they have five days to do it. You guys know me, man. I want that breakout. Bounce. Bounce. Higher. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want... If I were to be in Solana... Full disclosure, guys. I'm not in Solana. I've watched it grow, though. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't ignorant to the coin. Like, I've seen it. The thing was, like, a dollar for the longest time. But, you know, I was focusing on other coins at the time. Uh, like, I just I have too many infrastructure plays. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I don't regret too much not getting into Solana. Because it's its, its own ecosystem. Because when I, when I go into a smart contract play... Like, I also take note of what, what's being built on it, and a lot of shit is being built on Solana. And just keeping up with that is just ridiculous. I, I do not have the time nor the liquid to do that. So yeah, I, this is what I would want to see from Solana, okay? I want it to break out of the swing high resistance here. Bounce, build some support here. create Create a new swing high and then a swing low to raise the ceiling higher okay i'd want a new this is basically what i would want for solana if i were to be getting into it so we look at the daily here daily's looking good view up as support money flow is looking like it's about to pop off Yeah, this is actually very, very bullish. I like this. And then we have 
these two support lines here. We can just change the color of the daily. Clean price action here. probably draw a happy little trend line there just to go along with you know my bias right yeah Solana's looking pretty damn good uh, big shout out to the Solana soldiers out there you guys are looking good man you guys are looking real good uh, I probably mm, I guess it depends if you're playing with leverage I'd probably enter let me actually see what the one hour is saying before I even fucking consider something like that. Hmm. Yeah, Solana might probably go down to this support level here. But this is looking like a string of uh, of red candles here. Hmm. Using the smaller time frames is really good to get some entries. And you know, and and it and it all depends on what you want to do with the coin. If you're going to be scalping small moves on the five minute, you know, you got to be in and out of this trade in an hour you know what i'm saying in an hour probably a couple hours depending on what you want to do but uh yeah solana's looking good it always it's always looking good though liquid as fuck uh let's refresh this it's looking like we're starting to see some reds here in the one hour uh let me actually see what v chain's up to Oops. Oops. V chain. Okay. Horizontal looking good. Very positive price action here for the past four weeks. Very, very strong candles. Looking super good, you guys. Yeah, and it's looking like the v-chain soldiers here you guys are going to you guys have a tough road ahead like all alt coins right now it's looking like your next challenge point here is going to be 13 cents that's holding true for the one day as well it's looking like these moving averages are starting to curve up which is what you want to see it's what i like to see Man, look at this. Fuck. Yeah, if we can bounce off 10 cents for a little bit here, I'd probably get a little bullish. Um, you know, I'm not in V-Chain, full disclosure. Uh, I have friends and family who are, so... I'd start to get excited with V-Chain... If it pulls one of these, you know, maybe goes down to the support level at eight cents and then break out, build support again, I'd probably start to get excited at that point. I'd probably say around the second breakout and the second bounce. That's probably when I would start to get really excited for for V-Chain. 
I'd say that's looking really good. I mean, you really can't go wrong with VeChain. They have like literally a million partnerships up in, up into including Walmart, Wally World. I don't know where you guys are living, but here in the States, we have the Superstore, the Super Brick and Mortar Store that survived Amazon. <laughs> survived against Amazon. It's called Walmart. Uh, VeChain is partnering with them. And you know, you can argue that VeChain is kind of challenging Luxo in terms of uh, counterfeiting. But the thing about Luxo is it primarily focuses on high end luxury items. So does VeChain, but VeChain also tracks regular everyday things, hence their partnership with Walmart, right? So. I don't really, it's a, it's definitely a competitor, but it's not like a capital C competitor, so. So in my opinion, VeChain is looking damn good. Let me actually do some Monero. I haven't seen some XMR in a while, and I do hold XMR, by the way, so. Full fucking disclosure on that. You better believe I hold XMR. Just in case for the dystopian uh, outcome. So let's see. Fee chain, sorry. <laughs> Monero, almost five hundred dollars. So fucking sick. Mm. All right, so we are well above the fifty-day moving average, which is fantastic. That's the kind of shit that I want to see. Four bullish weeks, very strong candles. Look at these bottom numbers: fourteen, negative three, seventeen, negative five, eighteen, negative five. That is bullish, bullish price action here. Um, now, in terms of resistance, like, God, <laughs> Monero just dumped. I'd probably say the next form of resistance here is 315. For um, XMR, let's take a look at the daily here. That holds true. Money flow is looking kind of shitty. VWAP is acting as resistance here. Two tops confirmed. Peaks and valleys. This was like a little baby bottom here, but on the 5th of August, nothing really happened. Nothing really came out of that. So it's really up in the air right now. It's really up in the air. If we can maintain above the 200 day, 265, and challenge. This next resist this next resistance line here at 315, provided that Bitcoin, you know, pumps and this Bitcoin and Ethereum pumps and this infrastructure bill doesn't take a shit on us. I'd say XMR is looking quite good, in my opinion. I mean again, I'm invested in this coin and this is a long play for me. I don't I do not plan on selling. I do not plan on selling my Monero. You know what I'm saying? My Monero is essentially going to be used. Like, I'm just going to use it. You know what I'm saying? So, and governments and exchanges don't like private coins, by the way. So, if you're, if you're into private coins, just be careful, okay? Just think about that. Governments and banks and everyone do not like private coins. So... I personally believe in it and will use it. So that's just my choice. So XMR is looking good. Let's take a look at my SHIB here. I want to see what's going on with my SHIB. Um, where's my SHIB? Interesting. So it's looking like... Did we break this trend? Oh... Okay. Okay. Money flow is bloody. We do. We did. We did. We did have this bottom here confirmed on the sixth, and we actually challenged and broke out of the null dot null 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 seventy six thousand four ten resistance here, and this next candle that's forming here is actually bullish. So that's actually looking quite good. And TVL for 
SHIB is actually going back up now. It was hanging out at 300 million. Now it's about 450, knocking on 500. So in terms of liquidity, it's looking good. Again, I'm in SHIB for the long haul. You guys know this. I got in SHIB in like February, made my money, and now I'm just chilling because I plan to use this. I plan to spend my SHIB in South America and any other countries that will accept it. So in terms of like that long trend, it's looking like it's going to challenge it and break out of it. Once we break out of this line here and build some support off of it, we can finally erase this. It will be considered irrelevant. Yeah, it's looking like, wow, SHIB really pumped the fuck up up there. So, yeah. SHIB's looking good. Um, where's, uh, let me see. How many people are holding this? Fuck, 620,000 people, guys. Oh my god. Can't wait, dude. Next having cycle 2025 this is probably going to be like 2.6 million oh man uh, I, I love it shibu ship coin is just so easy to pick up and it has all this utility it's just going to keep building it's going to be fantastic like next cycle or next few years from now we're just going to be getting more holders people coming in buying like a fun coin i just want this shit to be on normie coinbase app already like what the fuck's going on with that Wow, our gway prices went back up. People are starting to wake up now in America. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, morning uh, morning delight. Let's actually take a look at CoinGecko again. Still looking good, boys. 1.9 trillion, 138 billion, 44.6 BTC DOM. And Ethereum dominance 19. Way prices are starting to come up, probably because America's trying to wake up now, at least on the West Coast. So, yeah, uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay safe out there. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Later.